Hello, my name is Martin Spielberg. Welcome to my review of Practical Electronics for Inventors. This is a very nice book for beginners. It is not a perfect book, but for a very modest price you get more than 1000 pages of good information. I will start here with chapter 2. In fact, chapter 1 is not a real chapter, it's just a very short introduction here then. Um, chapter 2. So this is a very, a very big one and a very good one. With some very good explanations of theory here. Just do some page flipping to give you an idea. See there's not lots of diagrams here, lots of pictures. Um, also lots of explanations. There is a little bit later, there is some mathematics, but uh, the focus is really on giving, on giving some great explanations to you. Uh, you will need, later need some uh, complex numbers and maybe a little bit of calculus, but that's not so important. Complex numbers, that, that would be necessary for AC calculations. Take a look here, superposition theorem, and here Benin Norton, it's very, very good explanations here. I think it's quite, quite easy to understand. I would say this is probably the, the best chapter here in the book, general the introduction, the foundation parts, they are very, very nicely explained here. I like this very much. Very good chapter. Same is true for chapter two, uh, chapter three, basic electronic circuit components. We are, yeah, see again lots of lots of pictures here, and then lots of explanations. I skip forward a little bit here. They explain every type of resistor. They explain uh, here in, in text form, not so much diagrams, but they explain their properties and uh, their main application areas. That's very good. And also, same for capacitors, and even better, they have a table here on three pages where we get a very quick overview what capacitor type what are the properties and what can you use it for. In general, a very, very good chapter here. This is mainly for the beginner, but also if you have a little bit more experience, there's still lots of good information here. I recommend this, this very much. Yeah, same is true for uh, the semiconductor, especially for the for the foundations of them. Here you see the basic stuff like diodes and then later transistors. Let's skip forward to them. Um, in fact, the calculations uh, of transistor circuits, yeah, it's not so so great. There are maybe other books that are more accurate here, but it's it's still okay. But forward up to electronics, it's a rather short chapter here. Just skip through it. And the next about next chapter is about sensors. Also quite short, uh, can on I think 25 pages or something. It can just give you a very rough overview of overview of the basic types of sensors and what physical quantities you can measure with them. But this is really not, not very detailed, just a, just a quick overview. And this uh, hands-on electronics is, just as the name says, really lots of hands-on information. First about safety tips, very important. Then about schematics, building a prototype, also quite nicely ex explained here. 
and then a PCB, making a PCB, and then using a PCB service. Some tips here. When it comes to soldering, one has to say it's only through hole components are considered. It's not, not about uh, SMD is not covered at all. But else it's quite, quite nice. And some meters. Sectional oscilloscopes is very nice. They mostly cover analog oscilloscopes here. Great stuff. Very detailed look. This is something interesting if you look at the sine waves here. They kind of fucked it up. You know, it looks like the slope would be infinite uh, at the start here. It's really not a, not a sine wave. It's strange. And in the first chapter they got it right when they really explain what a sine wave is. But later in the book they have this kind of shit here. It's, it's uh, not so good. Mm. There is, in general, there is one thing uh, that I have to mention. There are quite a lot of errors in the book. They were in the second edition and there are still lots of error in the third edition. And there are basically two ways to look at it. There are some people who say, um, if I pay money for the book, I want to have some quality for this. And there are other people who say, okay, fuck the errors. I like the explanations in the book and yeah, a matter of uh, what, what, what is most important to you. Anyway, I have on my site, I have a link to uh, the um, errata list, the un unofficial errata list. It is maintained by a guy uh, from the EEV blog forum, a user there name Tom C. And he has a, a very good look for details and he has compiled this uh, errata list with help from others. I have the link on my site so yet, uh, that you can, can get it. And if you go through this uh, errata list and correct the corresponding pages in the book, then in fact you would have a, a rather error-free book. But of course it's a real nuisance to uh, have to do this instead of getting a book uh, ready to use. Oh, but oh, should. Um, this chapter on operational amplifiers I don't like as much as the other ones. Mm, I've seen books with better explanations, for example, in Out of Electronics, The Two Golden Rules. I mean, it's okay, but you, you can certainly learn how, to, uh, how operational amplifiers work, but it's not so great as the other ones, as the other chapters. And then when it comes to advanced stuff, stuff about op-amp specifications, mm, this is really not so good. You know, it's just basically uh, one, on a, one and a half pages here, uh, giving an overview of the uh, um, specifications of a real op-amp. And that's, uh, that's not enough. I mean, there's uh, so much you have to know about it if you want to build really great circuits. And uh, just uh, this is not sufficient. They have some circuit ideas later. That's that's quite nice here. Comparators first, and then some applications here. Can some good ideas here. But uh, if you want to build some really great circuits, you would have to more, get a more detailed explanation of the parameters. And this is, this is not given in, the, in this book. I think generally speaking, one can say that the. Uh, as strong as the book is on the fundamentals, um, it has some uh, a bit of a weakness when it comes to the more advanced concepts. Uh, case in point here, voltage regulators and power supplies. In case of uh, uh, linear uh, regulators, it's quite nice here. It's not, uh, not very exhaustive, but it's okay explanations. And then the voltage regulator integrated circuits. That's, that's fine. But if we go forward to uh, switching regulators, uh, it's really not sufficient. I mean, uh, things are so fucking complicated and they handle it uh, just here on, 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 on the four pages. Uh, that's really not, so you, really not sufficient here, yeah. And also the other, yeah, digital electronics, that's fine again. The fundamentals, okay, good explanations of it. 
uh, you just have to be aware of it that they just cover the um, uh, standard logic here. You see the uh, 7400 series. Uh, this, this kind of uh, chips here, what they do not cover is uh, any kind of programmable logic. Um, this is a little bit regrettable, but on the other hand, uh, programmable logic like FPGAs, it's much more complicated. And so I think for a book that is focused on the beginner, it's an okay decision to, to say, okay, we don't cover them at all. Yeah, that's the digital stuff then. Then there's a new chapter on microcontrollers here. Or oh, there was some stuff on microcontrollers in the last edition, but it's been greatly expanded here. Yeah, Arduino is now covered. Yep, that's quite quite nice as, a, as an introduction. Yeah. Um, one thing you will notice if you have the book in your hands for the first time, you know, it's a big book, and yeah, soft cover, so it's some some floppy. Uh, wobbling pages. It's it feels more like a um, more like a catalog than a book. In fact, yeah, it's uh, not so great. But on the other hand, for for twenty five bucks, you get more than thousand pages of information. So I think that's okay. Yeah, this is the end of my review of this book. I hope you liked it and hope to see you again in my next video. Bye bye.